very wealthy businessman once said to me, learn from experience, somebody else's experience. And if you guys are watching the show, I want you to learn from my experience. That way you don't make the same mistakes. And I'll explain why. I was out till about 4 o'clock in the morning uh, last night drinking. And, uh, because that's what I do on a Friday night. I go out drinking. And this morning, you know, I had to wake up for the garage sale. So I wake up around 7.30. And I, I look out the window and it's just like fog and, and cloud cover. It, it looked like, it looked like old England out there. And... I said to myself, who the hell in their right friggin' mind is going to have a garage sale today? And I was laying so comfortably in bed and so just completely shot, exhausted, and hungover. That I said, maybe I shouldn't go out today. But I pried myself out of bed, had some breakfast, went out to start the motorcycle. Motorcycle wouldn't start. Something happened with the, I don't know, maybe the ignition got wet or something. It was out in the rain, the, the goddamn bike. And I said, this is a sign. I said, just, just stay in today. Go back to bed. And you know what? Had I done that, it would have been an enormous catastrophe. It would have been a huge mistake. And I'll show you why. So, anyway, Beardhead 1000 here. You tuned into the greatest video game show in the universe. And uh, if you've noticed, if you have a keen eye, you notice I'm growing a little scruff here, huh? It's like, my, it's like a Fabio scruff. Yeah, real sexy. Red scruff, right? That's, a, that's about as sexy as, uh, as your grandmother taking a pair of scissors and, and cutting her depends into a thong. But anyway, that's enough of the jokes. So here we go. Um, very first garage sale I went to uh, was 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 close. Was local. I had to take the car out, so a lot of this stuff was local. Um, a guy had uh, absolutely no video games on the tables and whatnot. So I said to him, "I said, you, you have any video games?" And you know what, people. People automatically assume that you that you're asking for newer video games, and he goes, "No, no, I don't, I don't have, I don't, I don't think I have what you're looking for. Only old video games." And you know, you know, that's what we're after. Well, that's what I'm after. So I mean, even when they say, "No, I don't have any video games," say, "Do you have any old video games?" Because this guy, who I guess he was having the garage sale at his mother's house, he hopped in his truck. He went over to his house and he brought back some Atari stuff. Let me show you here. Okay. We got this Atari 2600 here. With the longest AV cord ever made. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, here we go. We got an Atari 2600 here, really, really clean. Now, I don't know, uh, you know, what you guys, what you guys call this here. Uh, somebody told me my other one was called the Veda because it was all black. Somebody was like, uh, you know, I don't know whether it's a Heavy Sixer, a 69er. You know, I don't know. I don't really know the the differences between the machines. All I know is that we got we got a nice a nice clean Atari Twenty Six Hundred here with this is real neat. You guys are gonna love this. With the power adapter, something that uh, I received in a package from Cobra DVS that I haven't opened yet. He's going to kill me. This guy's just going to kill me. Uh, there's a reason why I'm putting off his, 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 uh, his package opening. But uh, we got a, a, a cord here. And two, con 
two standard controllers. That are in really nice shape. You gotta, you gotta excuse me, guys. This stuff's all over the place. And uh, and two paddle controllers that are in really nice shape. Okay. It also came with this case right here, which I thought was pretty neat. It says Atari on it. It's like this, like you know, synthetic leather-bound case. And uh, it's got some games in there. I don't know if you can see all the games there. It's Pac-Man Combat, Video Pinball, Qbert, Space Invaders, Missile Command, Bowling, and Video Olympics. And there's and the big bonus here is is the instruction manuals. There's all these uh, all these instruction manuals in here, which is pretty neat. Because I, I don't see Atari uh, instruction manuals too often. So I thought that was pretty cool. So that case with those games, and then there was some. This, here's a cover. Oh, look at that! A cover for your Atari. Huh? That's hot stuff. I didn't even see that in the box. That's hot stuff right there. I've never seen that before. That's neat. Okay. Also, breakout, pitfall, and crystal castles, and millipede. So, you know something? Now here's now this guy he went all the way to the, the house to pick up this Atari. So now I'm worried. I'm worried about the price, because when people for some reason when they pull out the Atari, they if, if, if for some reason they, they take it out like they just found the golden fleece. I got news for you people. Ataris are out there in huge numbers. Games I will not pay more than fifty cents a game for an Atari game. That's my max. I won't pay a dollar for a game. 50 cents max. Uh, you know, I know, there, I, know, I know there are some titles that are worth more than others, but more at the garage sales, I'm not paying more than 50 cents. And for the, the unit itself, even in stellar condition, uh, I'm, I'm probably only willing to pay $15 for it. So, this, people, you know, there's a lot of, uh, people think they got something real antique when they pull out an Atari. It's not really worth that much. So I was a little concerned about what uh, what offer he was going to make me. So I asked him, how much do you want for it? He said, $10. And I thought that was a fair deal. I didn't even try to chip him down anymore. So, yeah, $10 for all that Atari stuff. Oh, and by the way, this is this is not video game related. But if you're if you're a man in any capacity, you'll appreciate this. Okay. This is a... Uh, It's a caliper. It's like a measuring caliper. I got this from the same guy. It's made out of beautiful stainless steel. And it's made in Switzerland. I mean, the guy wanted a dollar for it. A dollar! You know what you would pay for something like this? I mean, you can't even find one made this well anymore. And it's in a stupid case and whatnot. Anyway, alright. I know I'm running a video game channel here. Nobody wants to see this crap. So I'll put that away. Okay. The next garage sale I went to, once again, no video games out on the table. Let me just check my battery real quick. Alright, we're good. Once again, no video games out on the table. So, I asked the guy, you have any video games? Oh, I only have, um, uh, I, I, got, I got some old Atari games. I said, really? I said, you want to sell them? He said, yeah, let me get him out of the garage. So, here we go, some more Atari games. We got Wizard of War. 
Gorf. Gorf is a game that um, I used to have for ColecoVision, and uh, Gorf is just a it's just a great game. So it's nice to have it for the Atari. Canyon Bomber. Street Racer. Combat. Championship Soccer. Othello. These games are in really, really, these games are in beautiful shape. A lot of times, Atari games can, can look like, you know, somebody just pulled them out of a lobster trap. But these, these are really in nice shape. Dodge them. Trick Shot. Riddle of the Sphinx. And classic breakout. So that's we got these for five dollars. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's eleven games. Eleven games for five dollars. It's a little less than fifty cents a piece. I think fifty cents for um, for Atari for Atari games is reasonable. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me put this stuff up here. So we can see it. Okay. Games. Case here. All right. All right. And finally. We went, and not finally, not finally, because my parents got something for me that I haven't picked up yet today. I'm going to pick it up later, so what I'll do is I'll just tag that onto the end of this video, and it'll all be today's stuff. So, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, naturally. Okay. So this one was, this one was great. This is, this is, I'm really proud of this one. Um, I went to this garage sale, and it was run by this older woman. And it was really, really small garage sale. And as I pulled up, here's another thing you guys need to learn about garage sales. When I pulled up, I looked at it. I looked at this garage sale, and I said, there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell there's anything here for me. Do not keep driving. Stop your car, get out, and look. Just look, look, look. Ah, never drive past a garage sale. Never. So I did, and this is what I saw. I'm going to get this set up the way I saw it. Okay. Uh, Super Nintendo, N64 games, and there's a couple CDs under that. And I, I, you know what? I didn't even rifle through it because it had a sign on it that said a dollar a game. So I counted up the games. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 in here, a dollar a game. I said to the woman, I'll give you $10 for that. Will you take $10 for, for the games? Sure, no problem. Okay, awesome. I just grabbed it. I, she goes, you want the lid? I said, yeah, I'll take the lid. Slammed the lid on it. Brought it into the car. And uh, I noticed there was a Super Nintendo title. That was the one I was curious about, believe it or not. The N64 titles, I, they're nice. But I get excited about Super Nintendo titles. I get in the car. I start driving. And... I said, well, let me check out and see what what um, Super Nintendo game that is in there. Guys, look at this. Earthbound. <laughs> I was laughing like Roscoe Pico in my car. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Can you believe it? How crazy is that? Here's a game I never thought I'd find out there. Earthbound and it's clean. It's super clean. There's no stickers on it. It's not dirty or anything. So I thought that was just mint. Uh, other than that, we got 
W. I haven't even looked at these yet, so you know. Here we go. WWF Warzone. With the obnoxious blockbuster video sticker on the back. Pilot Wings 64. Which is clean. Okay. Blast Corpse with pen scribble on it. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. Turok, the Dinosaur Hunter. Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. Paper Mario, um, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it's a pretty cool uh, cartridge right here. Wave Race 64. Mystical Ninja, the Konami title there. Um, and Mario Tennis. I really dig tennis games, uh, so I'm definitely going to have to give this one a shot, Mario Tennis. And then there was two games in here. I really don't know what they... Oh, okay. It's it's Sonic and Knuckles collection for the PC and Earthworm Jim for so two PC games. I don't know. These go over there. So, that I thought that was pretty good. We got, let's see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve games for ten dollars. And and you know, naturally earthbound. Which I thought was was, was killer. So there we go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna freeze the tape. I gotta run over to my parents later and uh, pick up what they got, and then uh, we'll, we'll give that. We'll, I'll show you uh, what we got from them, and then we'll wrap it up. So, all right, we're back over here. We are back. You gotta, you gotta forgive me, guys, for the water, but it is hot. It's hot in this apartment, like. It's hot as balls at the zoo in here. I, Icarus flew through the window before and his wings melted off. Mm. Bad joke, I know. I know. I right, forget that one. <laughs> All right. Um, so here we are back, and you'll notice my shirt color and my face color, and that's because uh, I went and went to my parents a couple days later because just the how things were working out and whatnot. But let me tell you something, guys. My parents, they're like my hounds from hell. I released my hounds from hell. And that's how they are. Because you know what? When they go to garage, when we go to garage sales, you know, when we see something we like, you know, you tend to get emotional about it. And, you know, the, seller, the sellers can see it. The garage sellers can see it in your eyes. They can see you trembling when you ask because you're so excited to see something. But my parents... They are cold eyes. Black eyes like a doll's eyes. They don't care. They'll walk away from it. That's the beauty of sending them out. And what I do is I call them up. I say, where are you going? Where are you guys going? I say, oh, we're going east. I say, good, I'm going west. 
and that way we cover ground. Get your parents out there. You got to commission them. Get them out there. And they're really starting to learn. So let me show you. I went over there, and they and they hand me this. So. You know, initially they told me, they called me up on the phone, they told me they had this Genesis and whatnot with some games, and I told them to go for it, I told them to buy it, they got it at the right price. But they also picked up something else, and I think they wanted to surprise me with this one, and I'm glad they did, um, because they're learning, they're starting to learn. That's the thing about the garage sales, you learn every single time you go out, that's the beauty of it. So, you get better and better every time you go out. So here we go. Oh, listen, in a related story, guys, I went to a garage sale, and there was this lady who she was just getting set up out there. And I said to her, I said, uh, you have any video games here? Because I didn't see any around. She goes into the house. She comes out with a duffel bag, like the kind of duffel bag that you would put laundry in. It was like this duffel bag was like, it was just bulging. And she goes, yeah, I got these uh, nin uh, Nintendo games here. So she opened, I opened up the duffel bag and it's all, it had to be 40, 50, without question or exaggeration, 40 or 50 Nintendo games, all in the... Uh, in the black case, in the black case, with the instruction manual stuck in them. Every single one had the instruction manual, and every single one was in beautiful shape. And great titles, too. I mean, uh, what did I see in it? Gauntlet 2, uh, Paperboy, I mean, great, great titles in there. Anyhow, uh, so I'm like, oh, I'm like, so I'm like, well, how much do you want for it? So she's like, ah, you know what? I think I got to call my son on this one. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So she gets out of phone and she calls up her son. Her son's not picking up the phone. So I'm like, oh. I said, listen. I, I, I went for it, guys. I said, listen, I'll give you $20 for everything. What do you say? And she was like, she looked at me like, really? Like, like she thought I was giving her a good deal? And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm like reaching for my wallet. She goes, you know something? I really have to talk to my son. Uh, I was like, <laughs> she goes, "Give me your phone number, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call after I talk to my son." Needless to say, I never got the phone call because she probably told the son that I was I offered a twenty for everything, and he probably freaked out. But let me tell you something: when she pulled this duffel bag out, I mean, I had to like do everything I can not to send a boner right to my pants. It was like, it was incredible. Anyhow, that's the kind of stuff you see out there. Anyhow, here we go. Let's get back to what we got. We got a Genesis 3 here, and this I'm completely psyched about. Listen, I, I live in this goddamn apartment, and, and, and space is a premium. And any time they downgrade these systems, the size of these systems like this... This little PS1 right here, I love this. I'll take my PS1 and I'll throw it in a box somewhere. And uh, I'll use this exclusively. I mean, it provides the same function, it does the same thing, but it saves a ton of space. So, completely psyched about this little Genesis 3 here. Okay. And that came with... Uh, AV cords, RF, okay, uh, aftermarket six button pad, uh, a Genesis, uh, a Sega six button pad. I'm more than thrilled to have these kind of uh, joysticks because for games like Street Fighter and for, uh, well, Ryan right now was telling me about Zombies Ate My Neighbors, how I, it's better with the six button controller, so. That's good stuff. The power cord. Your standard Genesis controller. 
And it came with some games here. Okay. Jet Birdie. World Series Baseball 95. Miss Pac-Man. You know what? I'm like I'm like a Miss Pac-Man magnet. I don't know what it is. I got Miss Pac-Man for, for Super Nintendo, for, for Genesis, uh, PlayStation. Uh, you name it. I know I got it for, for Atari. I'm going to have a t-shirt made. I'm going to make a t-shirt with, with all the cartridges stuck to it everywhere. And it's going to say Miss Pac-Man magnet. So, I, I mean, I guess that's all right. It, it could be worse, right? All right. Mortal Kombat 2. And NHL 96. Not the sexiest titles in the world, but, you know, those are the loose games. We've got five loose games here. And then we got box games. All these box games are uh, in the box with instructions. Okay. Mortal Kombat 3. Mortal Kombat. This guy was a big fan of Mortal Kombat. Winter Olympics. Street Super Street Fighter 2. Fantasia. Here's a game I'm really psyched to own. I don't know if any of you guys played Fantasia. Here's a game I used to rent with my buddy Phil uh, early in the Genesis days. And uh, this was a super, super duper hard game to play. But the graphics, it was such a visually stunning game for the time that you would just fight your way through the levels just to see the next level to see, you know, how good the graphics were. I remember me and my friend Phil fighting all the way through this game. I'd love to try it now just to see if, if, you know, if you get better as you get older at video games. And, you know, being that since this game I've played so many platformer games, I'm curious to see if the challenge is, uh, is still there with this game. Anyhow, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, I'm sorry, Sonic the Hedgehog. Only appropriate because uh, it, it was just his uh, 20th anniversary passed. So, yeah. We got a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, eleven games. The Sega Genesis 3 with uh, three controllers and all the connectors for they wanted fifteen dollars for it. My parents talked them down to ten. Ten bucks for that. I thought that was a pretty incredible deal. Anyhow, moving along. Uh, now this next one, this next one was uh, was a surprise. I didn't expect this one, so let's check it out. <coughs> we got a a PS one. It's in like this uh, I don't know pillow bag here. Well, it's like the kind of bag that you get with your, your sheets. You know, your, your 500 thread count uh, to Egyptian cotton sheets. But anyway, uh, pa power cord and AV cords. This, um, like, third party. What the hell is that? third-party controller 
And I'm looking at this thing, it's got PS1 connector and, uh, I don't know, what is that, N64 connector? It's pretty wild, I never saw that before. That controller. Uh, your standard PS1 controller. Uh, it came with this, which I think is really cool. Uh, memory, a PlayStation memory card still in the package, brand new. With the price tag on it of $14.99. A blue one. A loose memory card. And the actual system itself, which is really, really, really clean. Really nice and clean. It actually has a game in it. Crash Bandicoot Wart. Crash Bandicoot Scratched now. Okay, and it came with three games. Frogger 2. Chrono Cross. Which is in pretty good shape with the instruction manual and two discs. And Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, so there you have it. The, uh, the PlayStation, three games, two memory cards, uh, two controllers, and all the hookups for five bucks. So, I mean, you know, needless to say, you know, my hounds of my hounds of hell are learning. They are learning. So big thank you to my parents for that pickup. I did, they did a great job, a great job, and uh, and they're gonna keep on plugging away for me. So you know the big lesson in all this, guys, is is I almost didn't leave the house this morning. Okay, it was gloomy out. Uh, everything was going wrong. So, you know, let, let that be a lesson. Even though everything is going wrong, get out there. Get out there, because you don't want to pass up this kind of stuff. I mean, what are we talking about here? What's the grand, the total tally here? Was it 10 for the Atari? 10 for the Atari with, the, with some games. Uh, 10 for the N64, that's 20. Uh, 5 for the Atari games, 25. PlayStation 5, 30, and the Genesis 10, 40 bucks. 40 bucks for all, all that you see today. And, uh, you know, had, had I not gotten out of bed, nothing. So, be persistent, and, uh, and it'll pay off every time. Persistence always pays off. I'm Bithead 1000. And I'll see you guys next time.